So I'm going to burn you today. Um, <laughs> you are disgusting. <laughs> Make a charisma check to convince her you're not scum. <laughs> you fail. <laughs> that sounds like a failure but, to me, yeah. But no, that's it. Out that's out of character. But I know. <laughs> all right. Well, Merlo, do you? Uh, Merlo's the one who keeps uh, watch all night, right? Sure. No, I, I was pretty sure it was going to be you, Sarah. Sarah's already <laughs> passed out. I've read yeah. it several so, times. So, so, so uh, the the cat person just goes over and starts mooning Sarah in the face while she's asleep. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> terrible. How would you do that? Let's just say Sarah had it's good a whole moon. Like, anyway. It's a high moon. moon. It's high <laughs> noon. No, moon, not moon. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Anyway. Oh, horrible thing. My That's God. what he said he did. Uh, anyway. No, yeah. I said he did it so much still. Anyways, <laughs> continuing. You uh, fucks are terrible. I will come back and I'm like, the giants are gone. And there's oh. a bunch of flying ladies uh, back at the the <laughs> the bone pit. Flying ladies? Uh, winged oh, ladies yeah. with uh, feather wings. Hey, he has not much nature. I do. Hey. But Sarah's roll it. Did Sarah have it? Sarah might. Mm -hmm. what? Sarah, Sarah does not it? have it. He just doesn't care, apparently. What did you get? 32. Yeah, those are harpies. Yeah. Herpes? Yes, they're harpies. Yes, harpies. Uh, yes, harpies. I knew that. Of course I did. <laughs> I said the mm. herpes. Yes, that's definitely what they fucking are. Mm. Well, yeah, this fucking tends to be how you get herpes. Harpies in a stone wall mm. plateau? At this time of year? At this day and age? They are most likely working with the army. Dun, dun, dun. Given, you know, that they're flying and the army's for it. Uh, I guess they saw the bodies, didn't they? Most likely. You're not quite sure. I believe we should probably get, get back to the camp. Uh, we can't. There's I'm not that or Sarah will actually, uh, Sarah will write down, because he's probably still awake knowing him. Uh, he says, I can only teleport once, which would be enough for me, Sarah, and two others. Uh, I can take care of myself, but my, uh, it, that leaves my ego. Well, um, he, he then makes, he turns around his notepad and turns it around, just says, Rip Kitty. Oh my god. Mike, Mike uh, kind of uh, looks at it and uh, tilts his head. Uh, he apparently doesn't know how to read. <laughs> I mean, he's lying. I mean, he's lying. He can't read. I mean, technically, <laughs> what did you write it in? Common? Common, yeah. Does Mike know common? Mike is blind! Oh, right. <laughs> Mike is blind. Mm -hmm. That's right. I forgot that he's blind. So, Hang what, on, what do we do? I have a way to get back to the camp, no problem, but... I mean, technically, you could leave Merlo behind, take the cat, and Jazarka could, like, climb Done. and swim and climb. Dumb. <laughs> Let's go. Done. You pieces of shit, I've saved your assistance. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I can take up to three other people with me. Sarah is one. I can either take Mike alone or Jazarka and Merlo. Uh, Ashuranti, how are you going to live? Oh wait, you can fly, can't you? I point of my... Um, I... The I would... Point point back. Even, even <laughs> if... Oh, uh, actually... Can't you carry me, Ashuranti? Can't you just carry me with your wing boots? You fucking will. <laughs> I, would, I mean, carry uh, Sarah, then. I would work for my because, you know, he's blind. Um, Leaving might be uh, behind or taking him with him? Um... Those those wing boots. How much can you carry, Ashi? Or you could wait here. You oh, I know. As a group and stay here. I have an idea. Um, do we have a really long rope or anything of the sort? We probably don't. But Sarah can 
uh, still has a use of her arcane ring, which means she can call back a spell she used on the day. She has fly. Can she just call back, you know, teleport? Yes, but that would be thinking outside of the box and smart. So I'm going <laughs> to deny that option. No. Oh my we, can, God. we can actually do that, yes. So we can return to the camp. Thank you. We will probably end up doing that. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go with this really elaborate plan. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Let's go for the most elaborate plan humanly possible. Because, Julius, sometimes you don't need to power game in Mimax all the time. <laughs> you see the, you guys, while talking, you see the Tofu Golem seems to be close to completing itself. Oh no, run! <laughs> yeah, let's leave it to leave. fight the enemies. Zach, when we come back here, I expect a mountain of corpses and a dead Tofu Golem. That's up to I, the Tofu Monster. I, I'm, no, I want to see this. I'm just uh, imagining the uh, Golem Monster, uh, go Tofu Golem. At uh, the point that just started going, say, Daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> well, if you want to stay, you and Mike can stay behind. I'm running. <laughs> mm. um, take Mike with you. I, I'm going to see this. No, Zargo, no. I take him by his tail and drag him with us. <laughs> uh, hey, watch the tramp stamp. <laughs> 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 he calls it tramp stamp. <laughs> Mike, that's not a Yazargo, that's not a tramp stamp because if you have a tramp stamp, I have a tramp stamp and that can't be. <laughs> no, you, yours is on your ankle. Yes, but still. It's the same symbol. Anyway. Hang on. Uh, what's the. Uh, what is the uh, tattoo of? It's a seven pointed star. Huh. <laughs> Take a guess what it does when you die, Simon. All right, so we effectively, we just retreat back to the camp. We skedaddle out of here. By the way, uh, Martin. Yes? If you don't like resurrection in your game, just do that to your players. Like, if you die, your soul gets stolen. Effectively, but doing that for every PC is a dick move. How I've done it is resurrection is possible, but the thing is you need, the soul needs a reason to return. Meaning, even if the PC is like, oh no, I want to bring my character back, that's not enough. Um, the players that are still alive need to set up a ritual, then cast something like Resurrection. Um, then cast something like Resurrection, and then make checks. Depending on the checks that they roll, the what comes out of said checks, um, I roll a d20 with the base chances being 50-50 of it returning, 50 chance of being not returning, which can be brought back to uh, 20... No, thir sorry, what was it? Uh, up to 3, so 20% chance of him not returning with 3 successes. Or if it's 3 failures, it could be 80% chance of the person not returning. That's fair. Anyways... We all... Look at critical role. That's effectively what I do. <laughs> we retreat. Yep. We retreat. Retreat! Comrades, Comrades let's run. Hmm. Jasar gonna get stuck in a wall. We leave him. So... No, maybe not. We're now back. With that Wait, thing. we're in the wrong cave. I oh, no! <laughs> think when we said retreat to a camp, we meant the camp on the outside. I thought, I mean, I, I thought we had moved to that cave. So there we go. No, yeah, okay, understandable. Okay, so is our camp on fire or, or anything? Okay. Well, yes, because no one put the fire out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it go out automatically? Yes, it actually seems to be a clapper. Uh, All right, can you... As in, no. you clap your hands, yeah. and you ca then you cast Spark. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. We can, we can you. hear you the whole time, Hi. I think. All right. All right, good. Did you try saying something? So, yeah, I was asking Mark then, uh, what if a uh, higher power uh, decides to give the spirit a uh, quest or something? Uh, that would be me doing that, and I have done that once already. All right. Someone effectively 
Uh, no, they didn't have the chance to bring him back, but he came to me and he said, hey, um, is there a way for me to continue playing him? I said, no. And then he came up with an idea because they knew a goddess that was stuck at the time and said, what if I tie myself to her somehow? And I like the idea. We went from there. We spent like two hours of planning. And then eventually I said, all right, sure, let's go with this. But there will be very negative consequences. But that'll be later. <laughs> and he, sl he said, fine, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. How, I'll sell my soul to, the de to, to some demons. Well, effectively what he did, he sold his soul to a Lady of Nightmare, which is effectively one of, 60, one of the 16 most powerful demons in existence. Oh. oh. Ha. It's great. Yep. She is evil lawful evil, evil, though. So. Lady of Pain? Um, no. What, what <laughs> alignment is he? Uh, he used to be. Oh. Because he's no longer. He used to be chaotic good, but due to some actions he has taken, he is now lawful evil. At least he's lawful <laughs> evil. What? Um. Well, mostly why he became lawful evil is because he had a deal with someone. They went back on that deal. And uh, in, re in recuperate... Oh, no, wait, no. Now he's neutral evil or something, if I remember correctly. Uh, not yet chaotic evil, but not lawful. But he had a deal. They went back on that deal. He went to them, tried to kill their entire family, then went to the city... Uh, with the in intent of killing both the general store manager and the blacksmith for failing to keep up a promise. Okay. Uh, and that's when I said, yeah, you change your alignment to uh, evil something, please. <laughs> <laughs> what, you need, what he needs to do if he's serving a demon is to try to get that demon as a patron and start the process of becoming a demon himself. That's effectively what he's doing. Because there's rules for that in Pathfinder. It's great. <laughs> uh, there are actually. Yeah, look up the okay. demon. Look up the demon page. I was actually just making shit up as I went, but if there's actually yeah. rules for that, it like I, I mean, you can make shit up as you want because the actual rules take like a fuck long time. But yeah, oh, like on good like plan, a couple years. <laughs> yeah, effectively, what it is over time, he's slowly gonna get parts of the half fiend template, not in its entirety because the half fiend template is bullshit. <laughs> But over in, in like two weeks, he gets uh, low light vision, which then transforms into dark vision because he's a human, uh, which then transforms into dark vision. He becomes a little bit more resistance to different energy types, etc. Et uh, um, technically, no. Lady of Pain is the only, is like one of the few non statted out, like, major NPC god things. It's just you piss her off, you get perma-mazed. Perma-mazed? <laughs> or just turned into mincemeat, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, let me go look for her. Yeah, there's a reason Great. why they, they don't stat her, because if you stat it, you can kill it. And she's unkillable. Nope. Uh, I have no issue with that, personally. Uh, Although, I mean, you can ask your visitor if you want. No. Nah. Although, I think somebody fucked up, and I don't know if that was canon or homebrew, that somebody did stats for her, and I was said for 4th edition d and and I said, nope, you fucked up. You, you done fucked up. Anyways, is something attacking us during the rest? <laughs> uh, roll me a d100. Roll me two d100s. I rolled Everybody one. Everybody roll a Oh, take the 51. Or the 90, whichever you prefer, but the 51. We have two 90s, 51 plus 39 and 90. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so two 90s, no. <laughs> All right, so you fight uh, 3d6 black dragons and 3d6 black dragons. Can we so nothing happens. However... Uh-oh. I heard that. You're uh, trying to think about whether to fuck us over or not. Uh, I want I want to I'm I'm gonna do it. Because oh, no. it is already cold. Oh, no. Roll me fortitude saves. What was called? Everybody this, would this still be would this be considered we would have a campfire up and running, by the way. Um Roll me roll me a fortitude save for the campfire. Have a plus five bonus. As 
a blizzard sets in. Wait, 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 oh, oh. Not, not blizzard level, snowstorm, but, so like, blizzard, but not like, horrible wind blizzard. I should just <laughs> always roll forks and for items! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Bullshit? You have your, no roll your three campfire left somehow resists the massive amount of it snow gets falling stronger! on it. <laughs> yes, and in fact, it grows stronger. Yeah. <laughs> As the snow piles onto the campfire, it grows in strength. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with me and just rolling nat twenties for but items? I will need. Uh... Do we get a bonus? <laughs> Yes, plus two to your fortitudes for the uh, environmental effects. Wow, Ashiranti, wow. Uh, no, Ashiranti, you don't brace the sun. Uh, Sarah fails, probably. Is, the, uh, is this considered for the previous day or the new day? Uh, this is for the new day. Alrighty. I'm not going to use... That's uh, that's the only reason why I'm not using a charmed life. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um. Alright, uh, I, I wasn't listening. Was it plus two? Yep. Plus two. And I then want... I need a d6 from... What should we call it? From... I like how um, Martin. <laughs> I forgot your name for a second. Three. Three inches of snow are accumulated before dawn. Glorious. Is this normal? I mean, can you detect magic? <laughs> I do so. I, I, this is Horizon, so I can do that however many times I want. Who who failed? Who succeeded? Uh, I'm trying to find the. Fortitude saves for weather effects. Generally, it's DC 20 for blizzards, if I remember correctly. I'm not certain. It's technically a snowstorm, not a blizzard. I'm just using oh, yeah. to describe it. It just doesn't have the exceptionally high winds of it. Or, 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 or the bitter cold that comes with it. Like, it's still really fucking cold, but... Is it like a cold snap? Uh, yes, with lots of snow. So... Gotcha. What's the cold snap one? Lowest by 10. No, to be fair, I know it, it still works, but I remember that one of the last sessions, as you know, we are discussing if we have camping gear and like winter stuff. Yeah, and well. And we decided that you can spend more but I know, it's still, it's, like, it's still cold. Fucking. Only endure elements. This is, this is the cold that only endure elements can help you and not get. Seventeen. All right. So I fail. Sarah fails. Yeah, it just all makes it. Mike does not. Sarah will makes it. Uh, it doesn't say. Da -da. Is Mike? Uh, wait, there was. Matt, roll me a D6. You take six non lethal damage and are fatigued. Oh no. Okay, I can deal with fatigue with the restoration. Sarah takes two and is then fatigued as well. Yep. So, can you heal non, non lethal with. environmental non lethal with normal healing? I'm pretty sure you yeah, can. Yeah, you can. You can? Okay. It's, it's damage. I knew there was. Some, I know there's some form of non lethal that's immune to it. Maybe it's the suffocation or yeah. drowning one that is. Yeah. Suffocation and drowning, that doesn't. that's not healed by. Uh... Okay. Imagine just being underground and casting healing spells on you while you swim for hours. Yeah, that's not how spells work. <laughs> but yeah. I supplant my need for air with magic. Is this, the, uh, is this one of those where if you heal the non-lethal, then the fatigue also goes away, uh, or is this separate? Because there are those effects as well. It's if you get if you take the damage, you get the effect. So, but it doesn't say it's. It would leave then. That okay. Then, you, then it sticks around. 
Like these penalties end when the character recovers the non lethal Yep, so yeah, you do recover it. Oh, well shit. Uh Ashurati, all you gotta do is like cure light wounds, done. Mm-hmm. So, just so instead of wasting two, two second level spells, I'm gonna waste two first level spells. I wouldn't say it's a waste. No, like, not what else waste, are you gonna use waste. those first level spells for? Not waste. Just yeah. a different word. But yeah, I cast Cure Light Wounds on Sarah because I guess she probably will. Uh, like, I will see that she's. And she will probably ask for it, or if not, I will ask yeah. if she wants it, and then I cast on myself. So yeah, we both. However, we both fight. The fire seems to still be getting stronger from the snail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, holy shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up, I'm gonna roll up my tent. I'm actually gonna take the tent with me this time, just so that it doesn't get burned away by the fire. And I'm expecting this fire to become, uh, to to grow a consciousness. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a note, a note for the fire when it grows consciousness. That states, wait here for us, our ally. We will return in time for, so that your fire may burn ever so more brightly than it okay. did before. I'm grabbing my back too. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready. Hmm. Should I use Ragnaros uh, as a fire elemental p picture? Yes. I actually think I have one somewhere. Yeah, which is why we're here to help him become the new king of the world. But You're in order to him back the second he doesn't listen to you. In order to do that, in order to do that, in order to become king of the world, he will have to help us slaughter hundreds of hundreds of giants. So what's the? Where would he else get the experience? To do so, need to take care of our baby. Close enough. <laughs> Not elemental, but it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> and he just uh, points at the uh, either Sarah or Cyril. Daddy. <laughs> 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 All right. Huh. I will say we. If you go in, you can probably get through a couple more rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Because uh, that's getting that. to the later point of it. So it's like you can get a bit more done, but depending on how yeah. long you take per room. I was uh, going to plan to go to bed pretty soon, so. And we can right. be done if you guys want. It's a good stopping yeah. point. Yeah. We're gonna go in again, so I'd say and we probably should stop here. So Zach, what would have happened yeah, if you I slept in that room? I don't Zach, know. What tell you? I mean, interesting. As long as, as long as it's not spoilers for what's to come, it'd be interesting to know. What What would be? Uh, what would have happened if we slept in that room we slept yet last night? Oh. As in. Probably ask otherwise because that might be too much of a spoiler. Would it be something connected with guys of the fort, or this, or winky wonky shit curse uh, ghost stuff? Roll me a reflex save, Merlo. <laughs> sure, man. That one. That one. That one. That one. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Thirty. Aww. All right. So you take you would take half of this and be knocked prone. Jesus. Okay. Well, evasion, but yeah. Evasion. <laughs> still get Dr. Fern, because it is, it would be the tunnel collapsing. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I don't think I can evasion my way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I stand on top of the ground, like a gay room to the top. <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. Mm. Uh, you know, about... in a game, 
Mm. Uh, that's what? Who, uh, uh, and, who... and, you, uh, and you would hear a full <laughs> Oh no! Question to players. I, I don't <laughs> really <laughs> want to, but because who asked that question to do, do we want to get XP for that part with it and kill more enemies or just wait? Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't give, it wouldn't give us a level up. If it, if it doesn't give us enough to level up, then I'd say. How much, how close are you? Not close uh, at all, we, <laughs> we freshly leveled up and I think... We're roughly 8,000 experience away, 80,000 experience away. Roughly. A little less. Uh, yep, we are nowhere close. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we can, uh, we wait. Mm -hmm. Because we don't get level up either way.